international circuit. It's six o'clock and qualifying is about to begin. Before the cars take to the track to start qualifying, who are you expecting to have a good session today? Well, I certainly think Sebastian will be strong here. He really loves this circuit, and as long as he has the car performance, you can expect him to be right up there challenging for pole. So there we are, guys, in the garage of the Ferrari in the Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying session. So let's go to do actually one lap, not so many laps, because I think I'm ready for this qualifying session. So let's go do one lap. So we're gonna start our first and only lap in the session. So I hope it's gonna be really good. One point three seconds slower than a Hamilton in the first sector. So it's not that good, it's really slow. I'm gonna think about a second lap if we're gonna be so slow in the second sector. Oh cutting a bit there, but oh god, get out! Get out of my front wing! Oh fuck's sake, that's gonna slow us down more. through these corners there there's where the second sector fit and it's 7 10 slow with that Hamilton but I'm still I'm still gonna try to finish this lap and be okay but this is gonna be our last lap but let's see where can we end up And at the moment we're in pole position, so let's see where we end up. Qualifying performance from Mercedes today with both cars on the front row for the race tomorrow. Well, both these drivers have been working hard with the team to ensure they get maximum performance out of the car, and it looks like they've found the right combination, at least in qualifying trim. Now, we need to see how they get on in the race. So we ended up the qualifying session in third position. So now, let's go to the grid. Exciting evening's action. Nico Rosberg will want his good fortune to continue on from yesterday's qualifying. He starts the race in P1 and has even said he's expecting to take the chequered flag first. You wouldn't want to bet against him doing just that. He has clean air in front of him, so we'll be hoping he can create a gap over the first few laps. If the cars in second and third can keep close until the first round of pit stops, then they may be able to take advantage on the undercut. What a race it was for Sebastian Vettel last time out. The German was back to his best and put in an almost flawless performance. Well, after winning those four world titles back to back, Seb certainly struggled to adapt to the new hybrid V6 era. True to the saying, form is temporary and class is permanent, he's back to winning Grand Prix and showing just what a great talent he is. So there we are guys on the grid of the Bahrain Grand Prix start from the third position of the grid but let's do the strategy it's a two-stop strategy first end of the options then options again primes to finish the race we'll see if we can do the strategy I believe so we can do it but let's go the race uh, the bug here with the uh, Light and it's lights out and away we go. We didn't get off to a really good start as uh, Malta reporters actually Felipe Massa is trying to overtake us. He got around the outside as we try now to get down the inside of Lewis Hamilton but we cannot that we cannot attack him so much so we stay in third position. Lewis Hamilton is second, Nico Rosberg is on first and now we are trying to do our best. Uh, we're gonna try to overtake him as Lewis Hamilton is so slow through this uh, third corner, we overtake him and we're up in the second position. Next up is Nico Rosberg for the first position. We have a perfect exit to this corner. Now he's breaking too early too. And we dive bomb him. But Nico Rosberg tried to get back to it. But no, he has two cold tires. And now we're in the first position. So let's try to extend the gap. P 
eight now. We're gonna enter the pit stop for a set of option tires. So let's see the pit stop on the Ferrari, guys. So it's a two point tip pit stop on the Ferrari, a really good pit stop. But let's see where we're gonna exit. If we're gonna exit just ahead of the main house. So let's see if the undercut is gonna work. Coming out of the start finish, coming out of the start finish straight, we have Rosling up in a couple of cars entering the pit stop, and now we're up into fourth. But uh, there's Squid who hasn't stopped, and Fatal and Hamilton as we run away to this corner. But let's see if we can overtake with the strategy of the undercut, Fatal and Hamilton. Yes, coming to the start finish straight, we have an explosive, ex ex extraordinary lead. To we have an extraordinary lead to to Hamilton and Fetto and yes we ahead that's amazing actually but let's see if we can extend the gap coming at a lap 15 now Hamilton and Fetto are really close to us and yeah there's gonna be a bit of a battle I believe so but uh, yes we'll see what's gonna happen but Hamilton is gonna attack us right now Hamilton is gonna get down down the inside of us now we try to close it but he's get down the inside of us and now we try to go around the outside of him through the first corner Hamilton is so close to us and Fettel goes around the outside and past both of us we have Dutchy with Hamilton and there's, um, that's amazing that's just amazing Fettel in first position we're in second what an epic battle what an epic battle Now we will try to get back into first position and overtake Fettel through this corner and try to have a good exit. Well, that's not a good exit and that's not gonna help us so let's see now what can we do. Let's see if we can overtake actually Fettel or stay ahead of Hamilton. Going into the box straight we have a good battle here with Lewis Hamilton as I'm gonna pit in this lap now and I'm gonna fit the prime test we run wide here and we have another contact here with Lewis Hamilton but Lewis has a lot of traction and better grip and he's going around the outside of us trying to let it down the inside again no we run wide we, we literally run wide the yes yeah, I know Jeff and now we're gonna get in for another pitch look going again for the undercut as both is trying to overtake us but that's impossible so they run wide again and now we need to go for the pit stop as you can see the tower is really bad and let's see the pitch stop from the Ferrari guys It's a 2.3, the Ferrari guys are doing the best with the pit stop, so let's see if the undercut is going to work this time. Hope it's going to work, but we'll see actually. And at the same time, I'm going to exit just behind Hulkenberg, so I think that's not going to be a problem for us, because uh, I think the undercut will work, but let's see if it's going to work. If it's gonna work. Coming there into the start finish straight. Hamilton exited the pitch, the boy we try now to pass him and we've made the move done. Yes, we up it in third and I think what it hasn't paid. And I think Fettel is on the lead of the Grand Prix, so let's see if the undercut will work in both of them. In both the it will work, but let's see if it will work on Fettel. Cutting on to lap 20, Fettel likes to hit the pit stops just ahead of us when he has cold tyres, so that's the opportunity to overtake Fettel. He's pretty slow through this chicane there, through this S, and now we're gonna try to get the, the outside line of this corner. And we're gonna try to have better exit, that's an impressive move for the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix. So let's try to extend the gap now. Can't go to the last lap, guys. My tyres are literally... They kicked off, they kicked off and Hamilton and Vettel caught up with, caught up to the back of me and now going through the last corners, going on board now with Vettel, he is still behind us, into the back straight and let's, oh Vettel's got to the inside of me, I touch Vettel a bit and Vettel goes down the inside of me, I try to cut him and get the inside but we have a terrible exit but we're again in the lead but in the sp into the last straight he got ahead, Wh what happened, where, where did we end up? What? 
Where did we end up? Seriously. No, wh where did we? No freaking way. We lost the Grand Prix just because of this fucking traction. Oh no, no. No way. Oh no, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. No. No. What a fantastic result for Sebastian Vettel. Fuck's sake, that's ridiculous. Oh, we finished the Bahrain Grand Prix in second position after big and fast for a lot. So, next race is Spain, one of my best trucks actually. Hope we're gonna win that race, but God. Oh. So, that was the video for today, guys. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Ask me if you want to ask a fan. Like my Facebook page is Formula 1 T Baker's Gaming. By the team, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Can't believe it.